back to another vlog so today is friday juno's here being annoying today's friday uh i'm going to start a film the weekend with me i believe if it changes it changes but uh right now we're gonna start a film the weekend or spend the weekend with me um today i don't really have anything to do but i am gonna go out and go to a couple stores first of all first off will be target because i want some more edge control and i didn't know that they now sell the kiss edge fixer I keep pushing him off me and he keeps jumping back on me. Um, I didn't know that they sell that and I need some new edge control because I'm like scraping the bottom of mine. <laughs> You're so annoying. Like literally stop. I'm scraping the bottom of mine and um, I need some more. And it ain't no beauty supplies anyway, so I didn't know Target had it. So we're on our way to Target and I'm also about to return that elf sunscreen because it's still sitting in my bathroom. Uh, and then I need to go to Ikea because I want some curtains for the bedroom. I want those curtain tracks, you know, the ones that just glad i had them in my last apartment so i need those i need some drapes for the walls or the windows and then i also need some more glass jars for the one of the cabinets in the uh kitchen uh, i like to keep my pasta in them so i need more of those because right now pasta is just sitting out because i only have three and i need like probably two more or three more and they're very inexpensive from there and then i'll get another or not another but i'll get a plant for the patio because i need that I'll try to find a rug for the bathroom because we still need that and then maybe an outdoor rug um, for the patio because we still need that. Outside of that, we just going with the vibes. I have leftovers to eat for dinner so we don't have to worry about dinner but I am very much feeling some fries so I'm going to stop for fries. Juno is not coming with me today. Uh, he will be staying home today. I bet he's upset about that but nothing I can do. It's above me now. Um, so yeah, the house is clean. Everything looks good in here. I might even get a stand for this plant. Because if you were on my live last night, you know what he did. He took the moss out of my plant and put it all around the living room. Mm, mm, mm. Also, I got him a new tag. Look at his new tag. It says good boy. Let's see. It says good boy. Oh, and then the other side says, Juno, are you stuck in between the couch? It's a very plush, soft couch. He does get stuck sometimes, I think, <laughs> but it's hilarious to me. I'm pretty much ready to like go. Um, but I need to make my list before I forget. Oh, and then we have to go to HomeSense too, because I'm taking back the couch pillow. Um, this one, I put it in the kitchen. I need to grab my receipts because ever since I moved, I keep this drawer of receipts because I don't know what I'm going to need to take back and when. So everything's in here. <laughs> so I need to get the HomeSense receipt and the Target receipt. This is the Target receipt. Also, I'm going to do my nails tonight on live when I get back. So they look very bare, but yeah i need to find the home sense receipt for that hello uh oh this is it okay so we have both receipts we need please get down thank you and i guess we can just go ahead and leave um i did not eat yet but like i said i am going to go get some fries girl dinner girl lunch um and then maybe some more stuff for the bathroom counter i don't know I don't know what we're doing for the rest of the weekend. On Sunday, I kind of want to go to the mall. I'm getting braids on Sunday so I can take this bun out of my head. I've been like re-slicking it with water like every single day and a little bit of shine and jam every single day. I've had it this bun for like two weeks. I did go home and get my hair cut as you saw in the last vlog. But as soon as it got oily, I put it in a bun and I stopped worrying about it. Um, and I really just want braids because I don't want to keep doing my hair every day. And then after the braids, I'll silk press it out. Um... And that'll be that but i don't know what i'm doing tomorrow tomorrow is probably like an open free day i don't even know if i'm leaving the house tomorrow but i guess we'll see um also if you were on live last night i cooked that chicken that macaroni and those green beans that was good i'm glad you all were able to join live i'm out of tiktok jail now so i'm not banned anymore so that was really nice uh so yeah i'm gonna put juno's bird sounds on right now and i guess we can just go ahead and leave the house in my room and then this is what I'm wearing today. I still got my bun in, like I said, braids Sunday. Um, I have on my Aritzia long sleeve rib, it's cropped. Uh, sweater is from Primark. Leggings are from Amazon, I'll link to my storefront. My favorite ones, New Balance 2002R. And then I'm just gonna wear this like little backpack today because uh, I don't really have a bag that really goes with this. I don't wanna wear a crossbody and I don't wanna wear my unique little moon bag. So I'm just gonna put this little backpack on and we'll be on our way, so let's go. All right, made it to the car. I'm just putting all my belongings down. I love the videos of men impersonating women when they get in the car because we do be having a lot of stuff. I can't say that. Sometimes men be funny. Most of the times they don't. 99% of the times they're not funny at all, actually. But 
um i love those videos like with me putting all my belongings like my water bottle my purse my phone my camera my everything like in the seat next to me or in the cup holders like that's hilarious but let's go to target first hey dear, here y'all on the way over i realized that i need a lot more things that i actually said like i need tie pods i need dishwasher pods i need a few things so let's go in and do it all i need a cart also so let's get a cart Target and I'm still trying to figure out how the bill was over a hundred dollars. I thought I was gonna spend a, a clean 70 80, but 130 something. Okay, I'll okay, I'll shut up. Um, but I just pulled up the home since so I'm about to grab the pill out the trunk, take it back. I might find some different ones because I don't think I need anything else in there. Actually, I could look at the rugs while I'm in there. Yeah, let's go look at the rugs. Maybe find a different pillow. By the way, these almonds are not good. They taste like dirty socks. Um, I should have taken them back while I was still at Target. But um, it's okay. I feel like I can make a good version of cinnamon praline almonds. I'll just need some plain almonds, some butter, some sugar, and a roasting pan. Um, not even that. I don't even think you need that. Anyways, I'm on a tangent. Let's go. Well, I'm about to forget the pillow. Lord, be a fence. Let's go to this Home Goods or Home Sense. Y'all know the holy trifecta over here. Home Sense right there. Ulta right there. TJ Maxx right there. What else over here? Uh, no more trouble. Okay. We're going in here. We're going to go to Ulta. And then I actually might call it a day. I don't know if I'm going to Ikea today because that junk kind of full. Let's see how we feel after these two stores. I think this will be really cute in the bathroom. It has a little green to bring in the greenery that I have on the countertop. This one is really basic. It just looks like a carpet. But this is so cute. It has like that sage green that I kind of want to incorporate into the bathroom. So I think I'm going to do this one. It's so cute. And then I found a new pillow also that'll match texture wise. Yeah, I'm heading out of HomeSense. I could actually live in there. Like y'all, it's like home heaven. Like, oh my word. They have everything. You just gotta be patient and look around, and I very much am. I love it in there. I got uh, a lot, actually. I only spent $85, too. I think I might be able to finish the bathroom with everything that I got, because I got the rug. I got something for the countertop. Um, got my new pillow for the couch. But yeah, I think I'm, I think I'm good. So now we're about to go to Ulta, and then I'm getting hungry, so food for sure. 
All right, I made it to Ulta. I'm actually only going in for one thing, and that is the activator for my dip powder so I can do my nails tonight. I don't know if I want to do dip or gel, uh, so I'm going in for that. But if I see something else, I'll grab it. I feel like there's something I forgot last time I was in Ulta, but let's see. I left Ulta, but I'm wondering if these are a dupe for the Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask or the ones that come in the tube, you know what I mean? I just put the yellow one on my lips. It's called Vanilla Frosting, but it smells like um, pumpkin spice. I like how it looks, but it stank. I'm about to smell this one. This one is Honeydew, and then they had a pink one, but they were all sold out, so I'm still on the hunt for that one. They were only $4. They're very small, but they were only $4. Um, the yellow one is, like, it's cute, very cute, but it stank. Like, it don't smell good. It smells like fall like pumpkin spice latte if you like that then you'll like this but in my opinion it stank um but let me smell the um honeydew one whatever i'll leave the camera right there the yellow one is not it for smell but they feel and look just like laneige um so i'm going to buy all of them hopefully this one smells good dang i really like the yellow one but it stank yeah yeah this one smells good i can do that um i'll put this one on too why not Oh, it's cute. This little green color is cute. It don't show up green. Oh my gosh, this one smells good. This one smells real good. I should have got two of these ones. Uh, yeah, the yellow smells bad to me, but they're both very, very pretty. Get back home. Juno's right here. I think that that rug is gonna look really good, but I'm going to take Juno on his little walk before we um, go outside. So I'm just take my sweater off and then clip him up. And we're going on a walk. My bar stools are supposed to be here today, but I don't think they're coming. Uh, I ordered some bar stools from Amazon because my current ones, I just kind of think that they're like ugly. <laughs> they're not, nothing's wrong with them. They just look cheap and they just don't go with the vibes in here. Um, so I ordered some different ones. I'll show y'all the ones that I got. I got these ones, you know, everybody kind of has these, but I wanted them for a long time. So I decided to go ahead and get them. And then after this walk, we'll pull this stuff out, see what it looks like. Um, it's very cold in here. It's still on 75, but it's freezing. Um, and then I'll start my nails. Go on live, start my nails, and then I'll have some dinner later and pretty much be time to go to bed. I'm also obsessed with Insecure. I've been watching that like every night now. So I'm gonna watch that tonight too. Okay, we're back. So let's do a haul of the important things that I got today. Or I'll just show you everything. It doesn't really matter. Um, so, First thing, we need to see if this pillow is going to match with the couch. So let's go over here and see. I think it'll look good, hopefully. It looks great. Actually, these are the exact, almost the exact same texture. I just put the little crease in it because I'm obsessed with karate chopping pillows. Um, yeah, those are like pretty much the same texture. That looks great. Dang, I wish they had two. They only had one. That looks like it almost came with the couch. They only had one. I'm probably I'm gonna leave those over there and leave this one over here. This couch is huge, y'all. I don't know if it shows on camera, but I can be laying head to toe and I don't even take up two of the squares. Um, but man, I wish I could find another one like this. I might go back like tomorrow to see if they put some more out or something, or maybe I didn't look hard enough. Look at him. Maybe I didn't look hard enough and maybe they do have them, but yeah, for now that looks great and I'm very happy with it. This one's $25. Um, and who was it by? I don't know. Oh, Brentwood Originals. I don't know. Go to Home Sense, y'all, and go to Home Goods too. Eat down for sure. Um, so we'll start with everything that I got from Target, I guess. Or no, we'll stay on Home Sense. Got this tray for the bathroom. Uh, I think it'll look really good for the other side of the cabinet that is countertop that has nothing on it. I got this diffuser. It smells really good and it was on sale for $8. That'll go on top of there. I also got some um, some little washcloths. Not for me, but for the tray. I'm going to roll them up and place them on a tray. I can stack them on the tray. Um, I don't use washcloths. I use loofahs and then when I wash my face, I use my hands. The dog in the bag. Like, my God. We'll go in the bathroom and finish it in a second. I got these almonds, like I told y'all, they're nasty. Uh, I'm gonna just go from the counter on. Skip going from the store. 
from Ulta. They did not have what I needed for my nails, so I'll end up using Builder in a Bottle tonight for my nails. But I did get these Dermaplaning razors. I really like these. I needed some more. Um, Y'all need to go buy these. What are they called? Squeeze Me Lip Balm from Ulta. No joke. For $4, this is a steal. Now, like I said, the yellow one does not smell good to me. It might smell good to you. The green one might not even smell good to you. I don't know, but the finish on both of them is competing with Laneige and Summer Fridays. I'm not joking. Um, this one, I wish it smelled better because the yellow color is just like so cute to me. Like that's so cute, but oh well. It smells like fall. Like it, if you like pumpkin spice, whatever, whatever, you would like it. I hate that. It does not smell like vanilla frosting. I don't know why they had the nerve to name it that, but this one, I love that. And I'm looking for strawberry and they also have peach, so I need to get that. But no matter what, I'm going to get like two more of these because they are very small. But a good deal because $4, you can't really beat $4. Uh, I got this from Target for when I have my uh, Berea Ramen. I got the uh, Naturium Biolipid Restoring Body Lotion. I'm going to try that out. I also got this Finery Jungle Santal because I was finally able to find it. Uh, usually when I go, they don't have it. This smells like Santal Vanille. And if you know me, you know I love Santal Vanille by The Seven Virtues. It smells like that, but this might be better than that. And this one is $29 or $28. Um, it smells amazing. If you go to Target, smell the Finery fragrances. They smell good. Um, I got two edge controls because like I said, I didn't know Target had them. They only had the sweet peach ones, so I had to get sweet peach, but that smells just fine. I feel like I've had that one before. That smells great, actually. It's got two of those. I got some more of these Febreze plugins because these are my favorite things to plug into the walls here in my apartment. Got some more Tide Pods because I only have like two left <laughs> in the other ones. I got this Clorox uh, multi-service cleaner because I needed another multi-service cleaner. Y'all know that... Um, I use this Trader Joe's ones a ton. Like this is my favorite one, but I have none, pretty much none left. And Trader Joe's is 25 minutes away now. So I had to do something. Uh, I don't know when I'm going back to TJ's because I just went like last week. But um, yeah, I got this free and clear. It says that it's safe to use around kids, pet and food. So hopefully that's good. And then I got some candy because I like candy. Um, yeah, that's it. I don't understand how I just spent $300 because on what? Oh, the rug. <laughs> um, but still, the rug wasn't expensive. This rug was $40. I think it's going to go amazing in the bathroom. It's so cute, especially with all the green uh, like green notes of the eucalyptus in there. But I'm really sitting here trying to figure out how, was this, how did I spend $300 today? Regardless, I suppose it's all right. Stuff is expensive. Like, why are Cascade Pods $15? Like, dang, I'm a hand washer this is in a minute. Uh, anyways, let's go finish the bathroom. I'm just about to open up this uh, scent diffuser thing, roll the tiles, and see what they look like on this little tray thing. Let's open this up. I'm so excited to like have the bathroom pretty much finished. Um, I just put down the rug. I'm obsessed with it. I'll show you guys in a minute. I think that is so cute and it's different. Um, but why did I smell those as if those have this fragrance on it? Oh, okay. Um, it's open now. They literally feel this to the top. Oh, it smells so good. Oh, oh my gosh. Perfect bathroom scent. That smells delicious. It's full to the top, like to the brim. Is this even... They needed to have closed the thing in so, it, so the reeds could stand up. The reeds are like very wide, but okay. I don't think I like how that looks. I think I'm gonna go get some different reeds from my closet. I have some other reeds because that looks stupid. These must not have been the reeds to go with it. Or they needed to have like closed that in some more so it could like stand up. That looks crazy. Um, let me go get some other reeds because I definitely have back stock of reeds. I think they're in the kitchen. Um, let's see. I do. They're shorter and they're wood. I guess it'll work. Um, they're not black. Do I have, I have black ones over there? But no matter what, they need to be shorter because this mouthpiece is too wide. So let's see what this looks like. It smells so good though. 
That smells amazing. Oh my. All right, let's try these ones. This still gonna look dumb because they didn't, maybe it's missing a piece or something. They didn't do that right in my opinion, but, cause that looks stupid. Like you see how they're just falling to the side? That looks dumb to me, but yeah, I don't even know. Maybe I'll put a rubber band around the black ones. I don't know, let's figure it out. Hold on, hold on, hold on. All right, I pretty much got the reeds to stand on their own with the rubber band method. I'm still trying to decide if I like this or not. It does not look bad, but I don't know if I like it. Um, <laughs> I am very like indecisive in that way. Like, I feel like it looks fine, but at the same time, I don't know. Um, hold on, let me like clean up this area and then I'll give you guys the full view. This is the rug. It doesn't really show up so green on camera. It's like a little sage green color. I really think that it looks pretty in here. Um, the eucalyptus, I guess it ties in with the eucalyptus. Try not to do something black and white because the kitchen is so black and white. Uh, and then with this tray, I tried to bring some of the little sage green color in. If you can see it in the tray, it's not also not really showing up on camera. Um, and then over here, I have that stuff I showed you guys. And then the green from the eucalyptus. I really like sage green in the bathroom. Ugh. Um, so I think that it kind of works. And then over here, I have my little painting. So I think that it works. I think it looks pretty good. So I guess that I'm happy with it. Uh, the bathroom is very small compared to my other one. Well, not very small, but smaller for sure. My other bathroom, I feel like you can move around a little bit more, but it is what it is now. But I guess I'm happy with the countertops, I guess. I might change it, I don't know. But for now, I think it looks fine. I just pulled out all of my nail stuff. So I'm about to uh, sit here and do my nails on live. Hopefully you catch the live. Uh, if not, I guess I'll be back live eventually. Um, so yeah, I'm excited for this because my nails are very bare and I want to do them up really cute. And let's see what I end up doing. All right, y'all, it's like 9.30 at this point. Um, I was just warming up my food in the pan. Last night I cooked some more wings because, not the bone, uh oh. <laughs> I cooked some more wings because they were good. Um, Made some more vegan macaroni, did my nails on live. They turned out to be so freaking cute. It's not focusing, there they are. I did like an abstract white French tip oval shape. I don't know. Uh, we were on live chatting a lot, like a lot. I was on there for probably like three hours, I think. Oh my gosh. Uh, or maybe two hours, I don't know. I lost track of time because it was fun. But yeah, Juno and I were about to eat this little food. Watch Insecure, like I've been doing every night. <laughs> I'm gonna take him to pee one last time and then we'll see y'all tomorrow. I was gonna say hi, good morning, but it is no longer morning, it is the afternoon. My morning was kind of, I don't know, it was filled with a little bit of legal stuff in regards to everything that's happening in life. Nothing negative, everything good on my behalf, um, but we're just progressing with everything. So it kind of put me in a little bit of a funk, so I started my day a little later. Uh, but we're still starting the day, I'm still gonna find joy today and you know, do something that makes me happy. So uh, I just did my skincare and used some of my Innisfree sunscreen. It's really good, y'all. I really like it. It hasn't broken me out. And by the way, this lotion, the truth. If you find this, buy it. I don't know how much it was. I don't remember. But if you find it, get it. Especially after um, the Glow Oil body wash. The two of these together. Oh, my goodness. Um, yeah. But today... We're going to Ikea because I have to finish. Well, I'm going to try to make some strides in the closet. Like, I feel like I can finish today because what I have now just isn't working for me. Um, like, y'all seen it last week. I'll show you again. But it's just not really working. So, I got to do something else. Um, so, what we're going to do is figure out a place for all these shoes to go. That's number one. And then number two... I no longer like this three cube storage unit and Ikea has the wider ones that will fit this space a lot better. So I'm going to take this back to Target, even though it's just at Target yesterday. Take that back to Target, go to Ikea, get the three cube that they have. Actually, it's a four cube that they have. So we'll do that. And then that wire shelf is going to come off. I don't know if we're going to do something with that above space or instead just do something with this above space because Ikea has these lack shelves, like 42 inches. And this wall is like 45 inches, so those would fit 
um, pretty good over here. So I can do those going all the way up to the ceiling, which probably should take care of the rest of these shoes. There's also shoes in that box. It should take care of the rest of those shoes. I don't know. Three of shelves plus this one, maybe. So like four, it should take care of the rest of those because I can probably fit like five or six pair and probably even seven pair on this rack alone because my feet aren't big like all those shoes are like a five or a six so that should work and then over here since i'll take those wire that wire off i can put bags on top of that and on top of that um so that will look better and then i guess the mirror could stay where it is but the mirror will be just like super high and tall because the ikea one is four cubes i don't know it's working in my head We'll see if it works. If it doesn't, I can always return stuff. But I think that that's a better idea than taking long shelves across this wall. Only because the IKEA lack shelf is too long. The longest one that I have is too long for this wall. This wall is not that long. And I actually went to the living room to see if my IKEA lack could fit shoes. I grabbed a random pair of shoes. Like I'll grab these black New Balance lengthwise, whatever. And they do. They fit shoes. Pretty much with a little bit of space left over so i think i'm gonna go with that for the closet if not we'll have to figure something else out but i'm gonna try that today and see see what we get with that so hi juno hi juno anyways back in here i'm just about to take my scarf off i actually already slicked my hair down a little bit more probably put on a little bit of makeup pick out a shirt and some jeans or a shirt and some jean shorts and then we can go on and get out of here. So Target and Ikea today and then come back, build a little stuff. And then I have to wash my hair because I'm getting my hair done or braided in the morning. So yeah, let's do it. Okay, I am all ready to go. Um, I'm just wearing my Aritzia. This is a TNA like romper thing. It has the shorts on it. Uh, and then I have this just in case I get cold in the store. This is the glow mo jacket that I wear all the time. And then I'm going to wear my brown space hippies because they match with the jumpsuit. I got some no-show socks that Juno is trying to steal that I'm about to hurry up and put on so he can't steal them. And then I have to unassemble that bookcase real quick. I should probably do that before I put my shoes on, but whatever. Um, put these on, do that, take him out to pee, and then we can leave the house. I probably am going to eat something real quick also because I do a horrible job at that. Um, but I just got a notification that my bar stools will not be here today. They're not going to be here for like five more days. I don't know what Amazon is on, um, but they will not be here. They are very late, very delayed. And then I just ordered a new pair of shoes. I know what y'all thinking. You don't need another pair of shoes. And I don't. But I needed them because I need some new runners. Like I need some new beaters. I'm not trying to wear my, keep wearing my Vomeros every single day. Y'all know I wear those to the ground. Rightfully so. They're perfectly comfortable. Um, but I got some Asics, so hopefully I love them. I do love them already. Hopefully they're super comfortable and amazing. And yeah, I put on mascara today because I want it to feel pretty. But I know I'm going to regret it once I go to wash it off tonight. So, shoes are on. Let me go to the closet, unassemble this little bookcase, and then we can go. Okay, it wasn't hard to take apart at all. I kept the box because I didn't know if I was gonna like like it after I put it in the space. Thank God I did keep the box and thank God I have this drawer full of receipts because I need it all. Um, so I'm just putting all the little pieces back in the box, <laughs> assembling it back into how it was or whatever you wanna say or call it. Um, and then I got my receipt right here. I have to put my drill back on the charger for when I get back because if you got one of these little dusty Ikea drills, you know how fast it die. But it's still a good drill. Um, prep that for when I get back. And I guess we can head out now. Let me see what I can grab to eat before I leave, though. Put that in the box so I don't lose it. Oh, y'all. The struggle. I thought I was stronger than this, but I guess not. All right, I'm in the car. I can't decide if I'm going to Target first to return the stuff or Ikea first to buy the stuff because I think there's a Target. Dang, I can't even get my bag off. I think there's a Target near the Ikea. Also, we got to go to Ulta to find that last squeeze me lip thing from Elf, the strawberry one from yesterday that I was talking about. Um, So I guess I'll do Ikea first and then Target last. So let's go. 
Okay, we made it to Ikea. I'm parked in the loading zone, but I don't care um, because I'm gonna have to load something when I come out. Um, I'm gonna walk through the showroom just because I want some inspiration on other things that I might be able to find today. So let's go ahead and go in here. Hopefully I'm not in here too long, but I know this is my longest stop today. So we'll see. unit that will go in between the two wardrobe things so I'm gonna grab that that one's 65 I'm gonna get that and get some new boxes for it hopefully that works this is really cute I don't know what it would oh my gosh this could go in the middle and have like little glass shelves that would be cute but I don't know if it'll fit things in here i'm trying to decide which plant i want for the porch i don't know if i want a snake plant like that um a one of these plants i don't know what these are called whatever that says or one of these like little palm plants i am very confused as to which one i want. i don't think i want this one because it's a little tall and i don't want it to take up too much space i just want something to be cute on the like the concrete of the porch so it's definitely between that one and that one i don't know all right y'all i went ahead and got all my little things i got them on the car actually none of it's that heavy um i got three of those shows one of the black things and then um some cubes going out i guess i'll do white cubes this time instead of black and then i got some pillow covers for the couch but those might end up going back and then i decided on that plant for the porch and i got a planter for it and i got my two jars i probably need to go back and get two more jars just in case I definitely need to go back actually to get two more jars. I'm gonna park this right here and run back. And then I think that's it. So I think I'm ready to go. All right, mission accomplished. I successfully got everything in the car. The stuff is actually not heavy today, surprisingly. It looks heavy, but it is not. And if it's not heavy to me, it's not heavy because I'm very weak. Yeah, now we're about to go to Target and Ulta and we can go home. It's only 4.49 right now. So I think I'm doing good. I did not come here for these, but how freaking cute are these baskets? I feel like I need one. Why do I need one? I don't know. But the green? Stop. That's so freaking cute. I already have one, but I think I need two, y'all. I am sorry. Oh my gosh. Where could I put these? They're so freaking cute. Maybe on that floating shelf that I have in the bathroom. Hello, stranger. It's been a minute since we last kicked. And by the way, just got in town. Okay, we are done in Target. It didn't even take long, and my total was only like seventy dollars, so I'm proud of myself. Plus, I made a return for thirty dollars, so total technically my total is only like forty dollars. Anyways, we're going to Ulta to see if we can find a balm, and then food, and then home. I'm really hoping they have the strawberry lip balm because I've been looking forward to that one. I've been using the green one all day. Kind of need some more right now, but yes, I really hope they have the strawberry one. So let's go see. All in the sky, ruin my vibe. Usually, I don't do this often, but since recruiting isn't an option, do to one use your rain and thunder. Baby, I wonder, baby, I wonder, would you just put your sweats on, put your sweats on? I got the plug, I made the call for me mm -hmm. I'm talking late night for ya Let me lay a great time on ya Don't hesitate, no, don't you Just say you will, will, will Come through and chill, chill, chill Just say you 
it. Unfortunately, they did not have the balm at all. Online lied. It said it had it online. Uh, oh. Um, and then I found the Juvia's Place liquid blush for the first time. They didn't have any more of those either in the shade that I wanted. So I ended up just getting a sugar scrub, uh, some mascara, and a lash curler. So yeah, let's go home, I guess. I made it home. I also took Juno for a walk and I was able to get everything back inside. No struggle because we have a lot of carts available here. And then I also went to Chick-fil-A, so I'm just sitting here finishing my little Chick-fil-A and we'll start building. I also put the plant outside because I saw like a couple of little bugs flying around in it. And I didn't want those in my home. So I took them outside and I'll probably repot that tonight also. And then I'm finishing the vegan macaroni and cheese that I made the other night too with the Chick-fil-A just because i don't know whatever um so we'll eat start building however long it takes is however long it takes i really don't care oh wait yes i do care because i gotta wash my hair yeah so maybe we'll just do one or two things tonight so i can wash my hair and then we'll call it a night because my appointment is at like 10 30 so yeah before I start building things, I just want to show y'all what I got. Somebody mentioned getting a lash curler on one of my lives, so I got one from Ulta by e.l.f. I also found the uh, Halo Glow Powder Puff. I've been looking for this for a minute. I found it at um, Target, so that's nice. And then while I was in Target, I also saw this Holy Hydration Makeup Melting Cleansing Balm from e.l.f. So I got that. And then in Ulta, I got this uh, Tree Hut Vanilla Sugar Scrub. I don't have any scrubs from Tree Hut, so eager to try that and then my absolute favorite room spray is from casa luna from target the one called clarity it smells so good but they have some other ones out today this one is called balance and i'm gonna put it in the bathroom this one also smells really good really good um so other than that at ikea i got two of these size jars for the pantry mostly like pasta and stuff like that is what i use them for and i got two of these ones because i have angel hair i have lasagna noodles all that that needs to go in there and then in target i ended up getting some popcorners that i popped open in the car so i'm just gonna close these oh i needed some chip clips definitely need that because i open so many bags of chips at the same time that's my toxic trait um and i don't want them to go stale so i should have gotten that but i did not and then i also got the uh that's more mascara, but this time, instead of just getting the regular telescopic, I got the telescopic lift because someone else said try this out. Got some aluminum foil, and then from Ikea, I ended up getting the plant that is now outside. This $2 planter, some white cubes, the three shelves, and then at Target, I found the shoe racks. My drill is charging right now. I got to get that chip up that spilled. And yeah, we're about to go ahead and start. I was just wiping off the counters. Juno's here saying hi to everybody. I'm also going to run the dishwasher and then... I'm probably just gonna build for a couple hours and then I'm gonna start washing my hair. I thought this was over here, but I also got this Calyx system from Ikea to go in the middle of the two wardrobes. And then let me show you the two cute little baskets I got from Target. I think I'm gonna put them here instead of the two towels that I have here, cause that's cute and they can be used for storage instead of those towels. And there's towels over there, so I took them off. Um, these are so freaking cute. I tried to tie in some more of the um, green color that I like to bring in. So yeah, I'm glad I got those. Yeah. 
night one progress i ended up pushing the two wardrobes together building the ikea shelves putting it on the right side they're a lot taller so they look goofy in the middle um this was like pretty inexpensive and very easy so i'm not upset with how it looks i, I suppose it looks fine i'm a little picky about the top because um i went and got those shoe racks from target and of course they didn't spend the entire width of two and they were too long to spend the entire width of one so they had to be stacked on top of each other kind of like a zigzag shape uh, over there i'm not entirely upset about it because now i have a place to put things not all my shoes will fit on that rack so um i'm not gonna do it tonight but i'll do it tomorrow uh so we still are gonna have to put at least one or two shelves over here about three of them and then I forgot the bag situation. That thing's full of shoes. That thing's full of shoes. But yeah, I'm not like, I'm not entirely upset at this because it works for me. And as long as it works in it, like I have a place to put all the um, shoes, I won't be mad at it. And then I got those white cubes from Ikea. Um, clothes won't go there. I just put them there for right now because I have to film some content with those clothes. And then I just went ahead and put my perfume in that one and the mirrors behind it. And then I put some bags right there. I don't know if they'll stay. I don't know what's gonna happen in here, but this is where we are. For look at how he poised he is, Just sitting there like a good gentleman. Uh, this is where we are for now. I'm not mad at it. I'll it'll probably stay for the entire duration that I'm in this apartment um, because it is what it is. I especially like the bottom because I like how the sweats look color coordinated up down there. Um, I don't know if more clothes should just go there or if I should take the shoes and put them up there or what. Maybe, maybe I'll just put clothes where the shoes are so it could just be a wardrobe full of clothes i don't know we'll see um tomorrow but yeah we'll finish tomorrow i'm about to go ahead and wash my hair oh no surprise here but for the shampoo i'm gonna use paul mitchell's tea tree special i'm gonna use olaplex clarifying because i have a lot of oil in my hair right now and grease and build up and then for conditioner, I'm going to use Olaplex number no. 5 and the kenra platinum color charge conditioner because the ends of my hair are color treated for the shampoo, it really doesn't matter how soft I get my hair tonight because my hair is going into braids, so that doesn't fully matter to me. It just matters that I get it clean and then I condition, obviously. So I'm just about to use these and then I'll rinse my conditioner out in the shower, but I am going to wash my hair in the sink. Good morning. It is Sunday morning. Uh, it's like 11 a.m. right now. Uh, I washed and blow dried my hair last night. My ends look very a lot healthier than before. Um, I'm just trying to pick out a little outfit. Nothing crazy. I think I'm just coming back home after. I kind of wanted to go to Glossier or go to the mall afterwards. Good morning, Juno. Good morning, Juno. I really hope I have a good experience getting these braids because I typically don't. Um, I, that's sad to say, but I usually do not have a good experience at all, y'all. I don't know how many y'all can relate to me or what, but getting braids is hard nowadays because nobody's professional. Nobody wants to be nice. Everybody's mean or just... I don't even know what to call it, but let me find them nowhere and then we can go. Okay, change of plans. Like I said, everybody's unprofessional. Um, last night, the girl ended up messaging me, asking me, could I come later? Because she didn't have the key to some salon. So I said, yeah, I can come at 1 p.m. Does that work for you? She said it does. So cool, right? But she texted me this morning like she wasn't able to get the key. Can I come to her house? Why would I go to your house if I book for a salon experience? And then on top of that, I don't took my hair out of my bun, washed and blow dried it. Like, so now I'm sitting here wondering if I should just silk press my hair out or go to her tomorrow because she also has availability tomorrow in a salon. But like, if I go tomorrow, I'm gonna need something off my total. Cause like you majorly inconvenienced me. I needed my hair done today, the day that I booked for it. In fact, the time that I booked for it, you already pushed it back two hours. I booked these braids four days ago. So what is the issue? Like, why can we not get it together? <laughs> All right, y'all, I have been ranting in my close friends. Um, so I'm not going to her because like, I just feel like she put a bad taste in my mouth and no matter what, she's gonna be on some BS, whether I go later today, tomorrow, another time, whatever, because I think fresh impressions are everything. And once you mess that up, it's kind of like raps. Like, I feel like you got one chance to like, you know, get to know your clients. And then once you put a bad taste in, in their mouths, it's kind of over with. So I'm not gonna go to her. Um, but I need something to do to my hair today, so I guess I'm just about to still press it out. Not what I planned to do, not what I wanted to do. I didn't even wash my hair in preparation for a silk press. Y'all know I literally said last night I didn't need to use any softening shampoos. I didn't put any product in my hair whatsoever. Um, I would have used my mom's silk out spray. I would have 
done it all. So, um, my silk press might not even come out good unless I rewash my hair, which I guess is a possibility because I have nothing else to do. Um, so I'm probably gonna do that and then make myself happy by going to the mall. I don't know, but it's already 12 o'clock. Like, she wasted my entire morning, bro, and I'm very upset, but. I'm going to just find somebody else to do some braids in a couple weeks, I guess. Um, whatever. I don't even know. I could find somebody else to do it tomorrow. But I don't want my hair looking like this all day. I wanted to do something today. Um, so, I guess I'm just about to go live and still press it out. Yay. Okay, I'm back. I was able to finish my hair. It came out really nice. Um, since I got my hair cut, it usually always comes out nice when I get a nice little haircut. It's a lot healthier now. She still has my money, y'all. She's not trying to give my deposit back at all. And in lighter news, Juno and I, we're about to go to this uh, dog-friendly restaurant. They actually have a dog menu. Um, we're about to go there, eat, because I need to eat. I haven't eaten today. I was straight in my hair and on live with y'all. Um, so we're about to go there, eat, and then we'll come home, finish the closet. And I guess that's it, because I didn't have anything else to do today. There's a Sephora over there, so I might end up at that Sephora, but... The movability of my hair, I can't stop. Like, it's really giving. But yeah, let's go. Okay, I ended up changing because I've been wearing that jumpsuit to the ground with that hoodie. Have on my TNA short sleeve ribbed cropped t-shirt from Maritia, TNA tennis skirt, and then my Uniqlo moon bag. Juno is so ready to go, so let me get him out of here. And I'm very hungry, so let's go. I really like this. It's fun, flirty, and cute, and sporty. Even though I'm not sporty at all, but let's go. All right, we were able to make it here. Juno is sniffing around before we go eat. I'm gonna just let him potty and then we'll be on our way. Come on, buddy. tacos honestly they were dry um i definitely finished that basket of fries though because that's who i am i'm gonna finish the fries but like what's for dinner <laughs> um it's like six o'clock sephora's closed i was gonna go over there but it's closed um oh no i don't want any ice cream I'm trying to figure out what's for dinner and then we'll probably end up at the grocery store tonight we made it back home. I did not go to the grocery store yet because I don't even know what I'm gonna cook. I'm probably gonna cook something that's in my freezer. But right now I'm actually about to go to the patio to repot this plant that I bought yesterday and spray some bug spray because the bugs here are crazy. Um, definitely about to repot this little plant and then um, figure something out to cook. I'll probably make some for Trader Joe's tonight. I normally don't do that on Sundays, but it is what it is. I bought this little Monstera um at the store yesterday and it's very cute i'm gonna show you guys the full view and when i put it down and i back up but i love it y'all this is the plant it's really cute but it has spiders in the soil so i uh i got scared 
I just put it in there to try to shake it out a little bit to give it some more room because the roots are very smushed together. Um, and then I just sprayed the leaves with some water, but that's just about as much as I can do. I don't even know how to care for this thing. I definitely have to look it up. And then I have my table here. Let me move my little stuff off of it. So far, this is what it's looking like. And then my chair there, I have to get rid of that little pot. Um, I like this little corner, it's cute. And then of course, over here, we still have the bench. And I guess I'll bring that table inside, I don't know, um, just yet. But so far, can you stop? And your feet finna be dirty, so I gotta wipe them off. So far, this is what we have out here. It is 8.50 p.m. I decided to not touch the closet anymore. I'm just about to make a Trader Joe's meal. Y'all saw me make that beef and broccoli before. I think I'm gonna make that right now. Also, I realized that I did not organize the pantry or the cabinet, this cabinet, like I said I will with the spices and the pasta and stuff. So I guess I'll just put that in a TikTok instead of YouTube because I'm probably gonna end up doing it tomorrow while the video's uploading. If this even uploads tomorrow, I might upload this on Tuesday just so I don't have to rush and edit and not take time for myself, um, considering everything. But yeah, y'all, today was, Today was interesting, uh, very interesting. But I'm about to make the beef and broccoli, eat that, watch Insecure, and we're probably gonna call it a night from there. Even though I don't have anything to do tomorrow, technically, beside edit, like I'm gonna be editing all day. I'm probably gonna start a little bit tonight and then finish it tomorrow or finish it Tuesday. I don't know when this vlog is going up. I ended up taking the videos every Monday out of my little bio thing, whatever you call it. Instead, I put videos every week, but we all know where I am right now, operating with a lot of grace and just, hold on, look at him. He was playing with the ball and the squeaky thing at the same time. Anyways, operating with a lot of grace and just bearing with me with, through the new schedule and content stuff. But yeah, let's cook this food and so I can lay down because I got a headache. I don't know why. All right, y'all, the night is over for me. I have not touched this vlog editing uh, for this weekend. Hopefully it's long, long enough. Um, but I put away the food, ate dinner, put it that way. I'm not gonna watch any TV tonight. I just, I think I'm gonna start editing this. I don't know. Uh, I don't really wanna sit in the living room. I kinda just wanna be in my room because it looks very peaceful tonight. So I'm gonna sit in here, wrap this all up, create a thumbnail and pump out this content for maybe tomorrow but if not tomorrow like i said tuesday i'm not trying to like rush and do things um uh, especially considering all things but definitely get the content up because it's already filmed i just have to edit it make some tiktok content post that up and then it's been so fun interacting with you all this weekend i feel like this was one of the more back to myself weekends we still not there yet but definitely get in there feeling good this weekend um i've had my moments in my days but all things considered, I think I'm making good progress. And yeah, I love you guys to the moon and back. Say it with me this time. Say it with me. And until next time, I'll see y'all.